Hey everybody, my name is Danny Ratzloff, also known as Moonhawk. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are already subscribed, thank you so much. I appreciate you to the moon and back. And if you're new to this channel, make sure that you find that subscribe button and just smash it, okay? So I wanted to give a little backstory on how I ended up in the situation that I'm in. If you watch my previous videos, you'll know what I'm talking about. So. I had a logistics manager position for a very successful organic superfoods distribution company for about two years. And then towards the end of that, I decided I want to move on, I want to try something new, I want to see new things. So I took like an hour long walk with the CEO of the business and you know we both agreed that like it was going to be sad to to part ways but if my heart was telling me to go do something that I should probably follow that calling so I did end up moving uh, moving on from that job and I put in a notice at my house to also move to wherever the wind might take me but I did have plans I left for Central America to go to Envision Festival with Dakota and right when I got back from Envision Festival I went on tour for a month with Mike Love he's uh, he's an amazing reggae musician from Oahu I flew to Maui to see my friends Alvaro and Emily and their baby mosaic so I have kept myself really busy I'm not just trying to like couch surf and float around it has kind of ended up that way in between all these moments so I'm just trying to figure out what feels best for me and uh, just move on as it comes just gracefully move into this new transition in my life and not try to force anything ah okay so there was a couple things that I left out of my last video accidentally so what I wanted to say is that I see you guys leaving these stories and all this insight on the comment section and I just wanted to let you know that I see your strength together when we weave our stories our strength combined can like overcome any obstacle and achieve any goal and if you want any support in any way please don't be shy to ask okay you guys guilty pleasure I gave up caffeine a while back and I've realized since I started YouTubing that it can be really helpful for like staying up and editing and I don't know it just gives me my second win so I've been drinking kombucha which is fermented tea and it's got a lot of probiotics and it's supposed to be like you know really helpful and beneficial for your bacteria in your gut um, so I'm not necessarily promoting it but I have enjoyed it and I don't recommend people get hooked on caffeine but this stuff woo! so right now I'm in Echo Park waiting for Vishuddha Das formerly known as Koi Fresco and we're gonna go to this thing called community healing event at Elysian Park so we'll see how that goes wow it just got really bright <laughs> oh crap I better change my batteries before Koi gets here all right, so here's Koi, Vishuddha Das, good yeah. brother. I'm Wrong so rums. glad that we made it. Koi got me my breakfast. Thank you so much. You gotta get those smoothies in us. Oh my we go gosh, stand in the sun. we're going to a community healing event today in Los Angeles at Elysian Park, and I'm really excited because this is my first healing gathering me too. in my LA. First one ever. And um, it's beautiful. It's just we're so need a good. Lot of amazing souls, hopefully, because it's free. I think there's something for everybody at these events. Definitely. I'm really proud of you. Thank you so much. I'm proud of you too, dude. You your, your have channels doing amazing already. You're doing so good. I'm really proud of you. Oh, I'm this. really excited to see your lecture today. I hope it all I didn't up. even know until right now that he was doing the lecture. I just knew that I was coming. But we're gonna cruise over to Elysian Park. We'll see you guys there. Rum rum. Whoop. All right, so we made it to the community healing event, and we're feeling pretty blessed. It's beautiful. It's, it's nice so out. We're under the shade. And I'm it's excited. Great. I'm gonna go check out everything else that's going on. So, I'll show you around. Let's go check it out. with that honesty, we can be assertive, we can guide people, we can give advice, we can try to help people understand things, but do so in a compassionate way. 
guide others if you have the ability with love. Don't try to force them. Don't try to belittle them for their ideas or their thoughts. Guide them with love. And the final one for how men can embody the divine masculine is to, again, like I said, be honest yet compassionate. That's the biggest one. It doesn't matter if you're right. No one's going to care if you're an asshole while you're right. Try to express the knowledge you have if you think it's right or you know it's right in a loving way, in a way that people can take in without feeling kind of attacked for it. Uh, so that is the first one with men. I'll try to run through this. It's take a long time, but... So how can men embody their divine feminine aspects? How can the masculine embody the divine feminine? The biggest one is to embrace vulnerability. Again, opening up to others is opening up the feminine nature, your emotional nature, allowing others to understand your struggles, your problems, your issues, opening all of that up and saying, I need help. Please guide me. This is why uh, the majority, I think almost three to one men commit suicide compared to women. Because of this, we don't want people to think there's anything wrong with us. We don't open up to it. So learn to open up to that. It's just a beautiful guiding factor. Another one that uh, I often had a problem with, especially growing up in high school, is, and this is one that masculine culture has a huge problem with, is seeing femininity as weak. It's not. Not whatever. It's empowering. It's powerful. It's a guiding force. It's a tool. So many men in popular culture, and most men that are in their masculine essence in the modern world, think of being in the feminine space, approaching feminine traits as a weak thing, right? I'm not weak. I can take care of this, you know? That's girly, that's, that's girlish. It's all those commonalities that we use to, to push these things away. Don't do that. The feminine is beautiful, it's powerful. It's just as powerful as the masculine. So learn to see and view the feminine as that power, as that emotional source of guidance. And stop seeing it as a weakness, it's not. You're finding balance. There's nothing weak about finding balance. Um, another one, again, which is hard for the masculine, is focusing on love instead of lust. The feminine nature obviously has much more of an inclination to lovingness, to emotionality, to embracing that. The masculine can be much more lustful, bodied, material, especially in relationships. So focus on, again, finding and focusing on your emotions, love, instead of your lusts. Instead of the momentary gratification, focus on the bigger picture in the emotional sense. And the last one is trusting your intuition. I know so many men who have the ability to heal, who need that healing, but they want to rationalize their way through life. And many of us who have a hypermasculinity want to do this. We want to be logical, find our way through this uh, with a system that's just written down point blank and basic, instead of trusting what we're learning and discovering within, how we're growing. So learn to trust your intuition in that sense. Um, so that is the majority of how the masculine can embody the divine masculine and feminine. Hello. Beautiful people. What's your name? <laughs> Jesse. Jesse. I'm so, Jesse. What are you doing Krishna? here, Jesse? I'm here to be with my soul family and embrace the spiritual community and grow and meet awesome people like you. Sure. Yeah. Milk hours, drunk, so, drunk so, babies. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody yeah, say yeah, hello totally. to Darcy <laughs> and baby Ava and Jungle Dad Sam <laughs> and Jam. Hey. We got the whole tribe. Aww. Life in daddy's arms. Hey. She's so cute. She's the cutest, right? She's so cute. Yeah. You have to trust the process. Mm. Be your most authentic self and things will fall into place. And you won't Absolutely. worry about them falling into place now. You'll, worry, you'll let them fall into place as they need to fall. You really? Totally. I said in my lecture, but Ram Dass yeah. like always I says, do. suffering is grace and hiding. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite quotes. Suffering is grace and hiding. So it's true. There's wow. No, yeah. <laughs> suffering is not an inherently bad thing. It's grace. We just have to learn to see the grace in that suffering. Absolutely. Okay, cool. So, Eckhart. How do you feel about Eckhart Tolle? Hmm. I've never read a book by Eckhart Tolle. You're kidding me. Never, never. So for me, who I, when I read books, I really just let my intuition pull me. To yeah. whatever. I've never, I mean, I know he's a great teacher. I know from so many people tell me about him, but I've never had that pull huh. to read his book. That Isn't is that so fascinating. Never had the pull, so I just haven't yet. I will one day, I know I will. mind blown. <laughs> My mind is a little blown right now. But I, I'm, I'm given, I, it's because I'm provided the teachers when I need them. So like, yeah, absolutely. this past month especially, I've been like learning so much from Wayne Dyer. Like, oh, <laughs> dude, the father of motivation. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. And he has such a way of condensing these philosophies that I practice into really simple Hmm. Western terms. Sure. So, absolutely love it. Uh, you have anything to say? I love you all. Have a beautiful life. Have a good day. Yeah. Trust the process. See you real soon. Rum rum.
All right, I'm back from the community healing event. I'm in Santa Monica, and I just wanted to say that this event was absolutely beautiful. I was able to meet really nice people, roam around and check out like craft vendors, food vendors, workshops. Um, Koi's lecture was really nice, and overall it was just a great experience. So if you ever hear about a yoga event or a community event like this in your area, I highly suggest going, especially if it's free like this one was. But that's it for this video. I'm glad I was able to bring you guys along. If you enjoy what you see, please feel free to like or comment this video. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel and all the links to my other social media platforms can be found in the description below. Till next time.